Okie dokie. I think I'm all set and ready here for tonight. Okay, for those of you who may have been on earlier, um, I did this painting in black and white. Um, well, shades of very light gray, neutral color. So, a little darker than intended uh, for the base color of the mountain, but that's okay. Then I put a, uh, a wash of yellow ochre using glycerin, vegetable glycerin. Um, through the whole thing. Okay. It is like 99% dry. All right. Okay. Hey, Sonia. So what I'm going to do, because I worked on the background, I worked on the sky. All right. I'm going to work on the foreground. The foreground will be pretty much in its natural color. So it will be a few rocks, a um, couple boulders, well, a couple boulders and a couple of trees. Okay. Now the trees will probably go up off the page, but I'll get a branch here and then out smaller branches here and there, put some kind of leaves around it and kind of frame it in, in this area right here. All right. Okie dokie. So let's, uh, let's throw some boulders in here first. Um, I didn't use any glycerin uh, for this entire painting except for uh, which you can't see which would have been where the mountain stops and the foothills begin uh, it was a little fading I did there and then I just used glycerin and yellow ochre for the rest all right obviously with this up here you can't see you know that part but it won't matter till later on all right okay so Let's get to getting. I will take a uh, quarter inch flat here. Three quarter inch any, anyway. And we'll get some nice sized, um, nice sized um, tree trunks. All right, well, I think before I do that, let's, let's, do, let's, um, let's get some rocks in there first. I'm going to just dip it to some cad red. I got cad red ultramarine blue which I want to get a little bit of. Then I'm going to get some of this ochre in there. So it's cad red ultramarine blue. Need some more blue. Pop that in there with that brown. Mix it in pretty good. Nice dark color there. All right. Here we're going to throw a couple of large rocks here. Um, pop them in there in the corner like uh, and we'll kind of make it kind of on a flat side just like this. And then we're going to pop one, a nice size one right here. Okay. We're going to get the edges fairly sharp there. All right, and then we'll block all the rest of that in. All right. And we'll, you know, we'll mess with... Um, some of that and all the the uh the trees itself will be up in here let's see if i have enough thick i don't think i got enough let's mix some more get a little more blue in there um a little more brown and a little touch of a uh, touch of red in there and we're gonna kind of put it in together i just want a, a nice strong mix hello um madonna who else rosemary hello how are you welcome all right um, we'll sketch one in fairly straight oh right about in in here like that pop him in there just like so 
And then I'll just kind of, I'll fill all of that in. No water, just the pure paint itself. Fairly dark. necessarily um black hey um jessica i'm gonna add just a little 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 touch of water in there very little just to loosen the paint up the next tree i'm gonna put it right next to it um it's gonna have a little character to it all right um probably kind of a slight bend in here like that right in here he has a slight bend in this guy just like that pretty much the same thickness though try to keep the foreground objects pretty pretty tight pretty crisp if you can now, you can see the difference adding a little bit of water. You got to work at it a little bit more, but that's all right. Just work at it. Keep at it. I don't have to extend it or widen the base. doesn't matter because these trees, um, you're not really like right up on the tree. You're not going to really see the base. All right. Okay. As I'm checking this guy out, Let's throw, let's throw a nice branch. Come this, come this way with it. I'm kind of like that. Uh, do I really need one here? Not really. I'm gonna have one a little higher, a little thicker, like this, and it comes right off the page, gradually off the page, like that. All right. Okay. Let's aim this downward like that we somewhat still have enough for me to do what I need to do I believe so let's rinse this off hey Shane how are you okay let's move to a um here, let me show you a brush that I rarely use, but we're gonna use it today. This is a, um, a Chinese fox hair brush. All right, let's put a little water in there. It does hold quite a bit of water. So just think of it as a very long strip liner. It is actually, it's a pinstriping brush. Okay, I'm gonna fill it with some water, come right in here in this dark, and we're gonna get the nice kind of a soupy mix with this guy. I did order these from China, and yes, it did take a little while for them to come out. I ordered three. They're all of different sizes. All right. Okay. This should be good. And we're going to just get some, um, we're going to just kind of play around with some, some branches in there like this. Something like that. And I can kind of make it a little wider. All right, something like that. And we'll kind of spider it out a little bit like this. Come up here, pop something down here like this. Almost like little fingers, all right? And once again, we are graced by the presence of Sleeve Stacks rule. How you doing, man? I don't necessarily have to connect that branch. It won't be necessary. Uh, 
I don't think I really need any more than that, really. I think that will be fine. And we'll add our textures and stuff to this guy. Like I say, we'll keep it pretty much things kind of natural colored uh, for this uh, for this part. I can actually still use this brush if I want just to put the leaves in there. Um, I doubt I'll use it, but I definitely can. Okay, like I said, I got I got three of these things. All right, but I do I do uh, have a, a, a brush. I think I am gonna uh, mess with it a little bit. But we'll we'll um, we'll deal with that in a few. Let's uh, do something with the trees here. I'm gonna add a little more brown to this blue mix here. This dark mix. Pop a little white in it. That's that's good. just kind of shade in the rocks here um, let's go probably this way a little bit very, very thin we'll bring it out here a little bit And just leave it be let's go over here to the other one and we'll kind of give it a little something real light let's kind of bring some of that light over on this side instead just like that now I'm gonna leave it be Let's get a little more brown. Put it right in with this now gray. Let's spread it out like that. Okay. I know we get a few that are a little nervous about um, using a palette knife. All right, it's just a small roll of paint there. Maybe you can see it over here. Small roll. And we'll, um, I'll do it this way. I'll just kind of tap it along like this to see a little, little texture going. So I'll just kind of, what I'm doing, I'm just tapping and giving it a little, little pull there. I'm going to do the whole, the whole tree like this. And we're going to do the highlight in the shaded side. Easy to make that texture. You can play around the well with the texture any any way you see fit that works for you. And what I'm doing, I'm tapping the you know off off the knife and gently in a semi-circular motion, kind of bring it across. All right. You don't have to do every inch of the tree. That won't be necessary. You can start in the middle if you want, wherever you feel comfortable of doing it, and just kind of bring it on, drag it around. It will just make those striations and make those patterns for you. All right.
separate it right out. Remember, there's a light and dark side. These trees are large enough so you can kind of you can get it done like that. Don't try to cover every single inch of the tree. Okay. Oh, you get accustomed to it, you get to do them rather quickly. And I'm just tapping the lines in there and then afterwards you can kind of see that. Just let the let the let the palette knife do the work for you. And I'm doing it in a slightly letter U fashion. Okay. Say if you don't have enough on one side, it's alright. Just go close to that side. Get it as close to the edge as you can. Okay. Up to you how much detail you want in your tree. Like I said, there's going to be a light and a dark side to this. So, and that's what I'm, I'm just working on the mid ground for it. The general color of the tree. All right. This might not be the longest video. Get a little bit of um, a touch of white. Put it right in with that gray. Okay, you can marble it. You don't have to make it solid. Keep in mind, the more, um, the brighter the color, the less of it you need. So I, I, I like to uh, thin it out as <clears throat> much as possible. And go right to the edge of that tree. And pop some of those in there. You can drag it a little bit if you want. This is definitely up to you. But you see it's starting to catch those cute little highlights there. And you, you got it on the correct side of the tree, which would be on the left. On the top. Well, yeah, we'll, no, we'll keep it up, we'll put it on the bottom. It's like that. You don't need too much. That will be fine. pull across you don't have to pull across the whole thing you might get a little nervous being so close to the edge of the tree which is understandable until you're used to it The smaller you make your, well, you're not going to really tell here, but the smaller you make them, um, you don't really have to highlight them much into uh, when the uh, branches are that thin. 
Okay. Remember, um, highlights usually is pretty much on this side here. And we're gonna keep it as such, right up around in there. This area right in there. Same thing here. Pop it on the top there. Just give it a little more love on the side, a little more back here. Just like that. So you kind of really can uh, gauge where you want to put some of this love here. Um, a little something up there. Like that. Okay. Let's get a little bit of all this radioactive green and we're gonna kill it with a little bit of brown. Yeah, I'm using the rest of that white that's in there. But we're gonna just kinda knock it down a notch with that brown. I just don't want it as radioactive. Pop a little bit of red in there. That'll, that'll knock it down a notch or two also. Use the opposite color to bring it down. Like that. Bring it right down. Yeah, that was kind of a radioactive glow in the dark kind of thing happening in there. Okay. Let's take... I'll take this brush because... You know, normally we usually use a fan brush. We'll just take a, a flat brush that's kind of full. All right. Okay. And we'll just kind of put it in the bristles there. No glycerin or anything. It's oh, pretty dry. <coughs> now, usually I wouldn't do the grass before I did the rocks. But here, on for this example, we can kind of we'll play around with it. We'll cheat a bit and mainly foundation color we'll put cute little highlights and stuff in there in a little, in a little bit okay we'll come out here and add some of that pattern right underneath the rocks I'm pouncing because I like the texture. Go up into the rock a little bit. Put it right in there. I mean, you can bring it out here a little bit if you want. Have it kind of travel a little bit. Up in that area like that. All right. All right. Let's put this back. Now we're going to old familiar right here. Smaller, um, smaller, um, fan brush we get a little bit of white kind of put it in there really good there okay and we'll kind of slap some cute little highlights in there right in the corner pop a little bit some patterns in there uh, out here a little bit. Put some of that out, out here a little. Pop a few of them over here. Just like that. Not necessarily really behind by here because it's fairly deep there. So I'm going to get a little bit of this kind of radioactive green here. And we'll get some radioactive green, get some 
still a symbol of a shadow. We, we still got some stuff going on over there. Okay. Still got some texture there, but you don't, I mean, it's something like that. I could go behind those rocks. All right. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Let's go to our, uh, we'll do it with a liner brush. I, techni uh, technically, I would have done it with a script liner, but we'll just do it with a liner. It's just sake of time. We'll brighten it up a little bit. Now, a script liner would be better. This will give you kind of a thick, um, long grass, okay. Um, so it's really no, 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 brighter. It has to be brighter, much brighter. Let's really put that white in there. You'd be surprised how bright you would have to get it uh, compared to other other objects once you put it in there. So the brightness here will look a lot different than the brightness on that on that on that uh, on your palette or on your canvas. Okay, let's try this out. That works, but it's not watery enough. Then again, how much water can you really get with a rigger brush? Mm -hmm. Right? And twirl the brush around, get plenty of it on. And you, you just really are, you're wisping. See? And you're probably only able to get a few, put some into, into the rocks there. Just don't get sloppy and make them really, really too thick. Okay. And we'll get some taller ones in there. I probably would have did better with the uh, script liner. But it's all right, we'll, we'll keep working with this. Nope, I don't want to. Makes them too thick. Where's my buddy? There it is. We'll bring this one. We'll bring this one. We'll bring this one out to play. Life is a little easier with this skinny fella. Okay. And then that's yeah, more like it. Just like that. go a little slower and a little slower and we'll pop something in here like that twirl the brush around and continue it on just like that these are a little bigger right behind the tree there Get a little bit of white, a little more white, because it has to show. It, well, a brighter color is still contaminated with the green. It's not truly white. Um, yeah, we'll throw, go a little slower and throw some lanky ones in there like this. Let's go a little slower. And you put them in there. Make some a little taller than that rock. All right. If you want, you can put little, little, little cattails in there like this. This is up to you. You don't have to do this. Something like that. Up to you. You can put them in, you don't have to put them in, um, you know. Throw some real thin ones right in here like this. Um, pop a couple here. Roll the brush around. Uh, get some out here like that. And maybe even one kind of, maybe a couple. 
come on over the rock a little bit there. All right. Okay. Mm, let's do this. Put some moss on the tree a little. How about that? Just come out here and just kind of rub some of that stuff on there. Like that. Maybe even a little darker green. Put some. I'll just use my finger. Put some moss on the tree. Just like that. You guys can see some of that, right? Use your finger. Come on the shadow side and kind of put it in there. Like that. If you make an arrow like I just did, and you guys can see it right there, a little bit of green that's sticking out in the sky there, just kind of make it go away. A little water, a little brush, water, try to brush it and send it on its way, it's okay. There, send it on its way, smack it on its bottom, get out. A little, little, little bit of moss on the tree. All right, let's, um, do something with these uh, leaves here. I have a brush that I massacred. Okay, see, I cut it and looking all crazy looking. Let's put this over here. Okay. Now, um, Get a little bit of red. I'll put it right in here. Right into the green. Deepen it a little bit, a little bit of brown. And some water. Loosen it up a bit. Okay. We'll start filling out like little individual leaf leaves. And go in a little like this almost like little baby commas and what you're gonna get is interesting little groupings of separate little leaves going on just like so going different directions and you want to get an interesting little pockets of of, of, of color like um just like this, just cute little impressions of just like clumps of, of leaves. Get a little bit more water, loosen it up. When you, when you get enough water, what's gonna happen, okay, is that you're gonna get a lot of activity going like you see here without a lot of effort you're just getting cute little shapes happening and these shapes will be highlighted don't be afraid to get some of those hanging that way. I'm just getting a little water, a little more water. This uh, thicker paint. All right. And we're just kind of, kind of, once again, do that little wisping thing in different, different directions. Have it clump, go this way. Come out this way. Maybe we darken it up here. Maybe it makes some of that branch disappear, who knows? Come out this way. Bring some of it down into the clouds there. Like that. All right. So they make very interesting clumps. Let's get, now I'll, I'll use the rigger brush for this one. We're gonna go into some of this uh, kind of whitish green. We'll, we'll put some of this other green in here, just like this. Stir it right in there. 
and you're gonna dance this around. It's like you're gonna paint little commas. You know, you go to school and practice painting commas. So you kinda paint those commas in there, just like this. And you're gonna make those commas look and um, like just separate little leaves. It takes a little, um, it takes a little practice to get them in there like that. Interesting little clumps though, keep them on one side. All right, don't make them super bright. Won't be necessary to do that. Dance it around like you got a nervous twitch and you can kind of guide it around. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to um, make everything um, that color. Keep some of that dark in there. All right. See, keep it dark here and just lighten it up over here. Just like this. Come on out there a little bit. See that? Bring it out there. Bring some swinging out this way. Like that. You're doing it a bit at a time. Keep it dark over there, it's all right. Um, and we'll, we'll go inside a little bit over here. Cover some of that branch. There we go. Just like that, keep going. Pop some down here in the bottom. Okay, let's dip into a little bit of titanium white. Go a little bit to the, the lightest green you have. I'm gonna get a little bit of water. But I kind of want it um, an off, kind of an off white. So I still need a little bit more opaque. So it just means you're gonna be dipping this brush a little bit more. You might have it's thicker paint you might have to press a little bit but go back into your brush when you see it starting to, to kind of fade away there just get some more aim it toward the very end of your little grouping now you can kind of form and shape your your, your bushes now your, your leaves if you want it thin here heavier here and then thin again trail it like that it's up to you she's your world your tree okay you're the you're the mad hatter you're the designer you design what you want to see for highlights shade okay mid-tone this is this is where you you judge all right once again it's just a series of nice squiggles basically you clump the squiggles together for your main light and you get thinner and broader as you move away from it. Very simple rules. Okay. I uh, will tickle a little bit of love here. Come on down back this way. Curve it. Give it a bunch right in here. Right. See, you're going to come back to this a lot because you know, it's such a tiny brush. It's heavier paint. And we'll kind of wiggle around there. Right down to the bottom, we'll come down here. Yes, I'm going right on, to, right on the tape, doesn't matter. Gotta keep the flow of everything, all right? So you got some, anything that's darker and naturally just goes back. Okay, all right. No glycerin, it's just, um, um, water and paint. Right. All right. This uh, little more moss, shinier moss up there. Cute little textures here and there.
little moss on the tree. Why not? Why not pop it in there? These trees are kind of close. Slap that detail in there. Okay. Hey, don't be so bashful. Don't be so shy about this stuff. You gotta, you gotta put it in there. You know, slap some of that on the shaded side in there, like this. Once again, if you mess up, you know, get some water. Nah, I shouldn't have did that. I had green on my finger. <laughs> but it's okay. Just wipe it away. It's all right. Okay. All right. You know what? I got this red here. So, it's, um, let's, let's, go back to this we'll just kind of dip it in there nothing special to be added we're just gonna pop some pop some red in there so a little bit of love in there come on down here a little pop some out here a little bit oh uh, we'll put put some of them here too a little tiny little tiny bits of something Pop some out here in this corner, like that. Just a little, little something, something in there. Right by the edge there, just like that. Of course, you don't see it because why? Because the camera's in the way. I'm not even going to ask how you got green on your arm. I'm going to leave that alone. Moss is nature's copy. Oh, yeah. All right. Hmm. As I'm looking at it here. You know what? Just because, and that's all, just because. I'm gonna dip a little bit of titanium white here. I don't think I'll add anything in it. I think I'll just use the titanium white in this silver brush that I'm about to destroy. I think I bought this silver a couple weeks ago. It's gonna be history. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting the paint on the side of the brush. Make sure the paint is white. I know I have green in there. Very light, very lightly. Like, you know, you, know, you have to really look to see if it's actually mist. But you see how it looks. That's how thin you want it to make it more convincing. Okay, and just go light with it. And just let it happen, just go light. Thin. And since it is white and it is opaque, you don't have to exaggerate it too much. But with with uh, this thin layer of veil of fog, because it's thin, you do have to make a, a kind of a pattern, a direction, directional fog, directional mist. And that's all this I'm doing little directional stuff here and I will keep just rubbing away at it I won't add any water anything like that because then it start looking like a forest smoke or something out of the chimney or something like that and just like that 
Now, did I plan on this? Not really. But I figured it would be a nice little addition. You want to you give it a little bit of body, but you still want to make it transparent. But you see that it's there. All right. As you can see, I'm going right past the trees with it. It just places where that fog is. Okay. And it has to be a little heavier here because you're getting doing bright against bright. Somebody has to be brighter. All right. I gotta be careful because I know I contaminated some of this white with that green. Now just throwing a little more love into that corner. That's all. All right. You got that right, Madonna. You're not lying either. But this is a natural hair filbert even though I, I roughed it up she still looks she's still looking pretty good all right still looking all right but i already knew when i bought it um its shelf life has greatly depre uh, depreciated once 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 it went from uh the sales lady's hands to my hands Okay, you know what, I guess I'll do it in red. I'll put it in a tree right here. Make it look like a little carving, why not? Just like that. All right, let's make this disappear. Let's pull this back a little. That's good enough. Let's pop the focus on it there. Okay. You want cereal. I just made dinner, so usually late at night I'll hit this. I'll hit the cereal. Um, I like checks and peanut butter crunch, and usually the whole grain stuff. I like. I can't do the super sweet sugar frosted flaky stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not built for that anymore. That's a thing of the past. Okay. Now this is uh this is um just watercolor paper there's no there's no board on the back of this or anything. It's just watercolor paper. I ran out of a foam board, so Captain Crunch for you, Amadonna. I used to when I was much younger, but then you know, you gotta eat it quickly and I'm a, I was a slow eater, so yeah, it was more like Captain Mush. go oh that's right I 
That's right, uh, Jessica. You can't partake in the cereal party. No, you have eclectic tastes. You got to have pancakes and French toast and, you know, you have to have real breakfast. While the rest of us eat oats. <laughs> She's having hash browns and scrambled eggs. And Madonna and Sonya and I, we're putting, we're putting uh, milk and sugar over the same grain that the horses are eating. But that's all right. I'm just cleaning off the palette here. <coughs> Thank you, Madonna. You know, it's something that I don't regularly, I'm just, you know, doing that Windex thing. I don't regularly um, paint things mm, kind of, sort of like, I used to at one point. I used to do the, the tree and rock thing and, and whatnot. Um, but the glazing of it, because, uh, you know, if, if people didn't know, they would wonder what color is this really, you know. But um, especially the clouds, you think, you know, I took a, I took a brush and, 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 you know, did the clouds with the yellow and I didn't, that came uh, actually, when this paper was white, and we just took some gray and some titanium white, and you know, just scumbled some clouds in there. When you put the color over it, this is what you get. Okay, you get all those values in there. All right, so it looks a lot more um, complicated than it really actually is. Okay. Um, yeah. So just a series of a whole lot of grays even what you think is black it's not black it's just gray okay and so you see what the color would do um, depending on what color you choose on uh, different hues and different different tones will come through in your black and white work depending if um, you know the color you use is more of a brighter color then the then the uh, the 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 detail in the darks will sh just just come right out at you. If you use a darker color, then anything light, all the values of anything light will come. So it will act uh, in the opposite. All right. I mean, I could have very well very well used red, magenta, mauve, orange, whatever color I would have used. It would have brought out um, the corresponding opposite um, tone of what you put on there for gray. All right, because once again, gray is neutral. Okay, so whatever the color you want to use. Oh yeah. All French toast and pancake for the weekend. All right. Nothing wrong with that. But I, I want to show you guys something, even though I just took the, um, I just taken the um, the paint off, but I want you to notice something. Even though I put highlights on the tree, as you can see, it went bye-bye. Okay. That's because acrylic dries flat. All right. But that's okay. I just got a little bit of orange, no white, no other no other color just some orange after I just wiped off all of that paint all right so I'm gonna take a little orange okay uh, now I put these trees on the left hand side but I can't highlight I had to use my right hand to um, pop the highlights in there but watch what happens why did I pick orange well 
orange is a is a is kind of a little cousin to the ochre. All right, ochre got a little bit of brown in it, but the brown that's been that's used in ochre has um it's, the, it's like sienna or something. So it's it's mixed in with the, the ochre is it's mixed in with, with the brown with with the, the red reddish tones. And of course, red and orange are kind of step cousins there to each other. So that's why I can use orange to highlight this tree. But look at that. Now, if I use white mixed in with this orange, it will look even even. I mean, it would stick out even more. Okay, but I just want to add just a little bit. I don't want to add too much to it. You know, because it's such a, a, a potentially jarring color. I don't have to exaggerate it and, and really go wild with it. Okay, that won't be necessary. I just need just enough to show highlight. And because I'm using orange, and it's related to that ochre, all right, it almost still looks somewhat like a monotone painting, even though it's not. Not at all. Okay. But I wanted to show you that real quick. After I cleaned off my palette, I just contaminated it with more color. But you know, eh, things happen. I can just wipe it off with water, it's no big deal. It just wipes right off. And it'll be set for the next round of whatever I choose to paint. But there you go. I actually did something like that <coughs> and um, I followed a t um, it was a painter his name is Tim Gagnon and um, he's kind of known for for doing I don't think he does that very much anymore now but um, he did that um, um, for different the seasons he did or he just painted in four different colors one scene all right and I did that um, I do have a picture of it somewhere in Facebook in my photos um, it was sold it was gone somebody wanted it and they, they got it to this day I did it a few years ago uh, I think I did more than one but that one there I did it was a nice it was actually on canvas and uh, yeah I did the four you know yeah that was, that was, that was pretty cool But yeah, all you had to do was paint it. Um, if you do it in black and white, do it in black and white, then you can glaze color, color over it in different, different, um, you know, yeah. And all this, you know, you just separate it with tape, all right, and go for what you know. And that's it. And I believe he just uses, um, he just uses, um, what is it called? I don't think he used glazes. Uh, I think it's just paint and water. You know. But I, I have a series of his of his videos. Um, I actually purchased them. Uh, and, and he has such a cool way. A cool style of doing it. Um, looks, looks absolutely magnificent. For real. Looks great. Well guys. You guys know the, know the deal. Um we did pretty good time because I think it's an hour exactly okay so I'll take a picture of this for the next thumbnail and I'll take a picture of this or I'll just um, um, post it on on Facebook and Instagram all right and um, yeah so everybody enjoy their weekend who knows what I'm going to do tomorrow like I say, this is this is no backing boards where this is just paper Okay, watercolor paper. Um, yeah, if anybody's interested in it, then I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll put a I'll put a board backing on it. Um, 
I just bought some uh, foam board so I'll just cut the foam board and I'll glue it on there um, but yeah even though it's paper I'm gonna varnish it in the whole nine yards just like it was um, you know just like it was a, a canvas so you know patrol free it was great troll free you gotta love troll free Okay, um, Sonia, see, we're done in time for you to get that nice, healthy bowl of cereal this evening. <laughs> okay, guys, gals, thank you very much for uh, watching. Have a very safe and blessed weekend. I shall see you when I see you. And until next time, peace. And stop drinking so much coffee, Jessica. You're going to be up for three days. <laughs> All right, Sonya. <laughs>